An Uber driver recently prevented an imminent assault against him. And as a result, Uber removed him from the platform. Let's talk about it. Hey everybody, Mark here with uberhints.com. A rather troubling situation happened recently in my hometown of Milwaukee, Wisconsin. And it involved an Uber driver who fortunately protected himself. He had that sixth sense, he trusted his gut, and that may have saved him from being robbed, carjacked, or even killed. What did Uber do as a result? It kicked him off the platform. Now here's the situation. The driver's name was Stan. I've been trying to get hold of Stan, unfortunately, for a lot of reasons that are understandable. He doesn't want to be publicly identified. I'm still working to get him, as well as someone from Wisconsin Concealed Carry, to be on the program with me. But in the meantime, I want to tell you what happened. Stan picked up a rider. It was going to be one of his last rides of the night. And as he was driving, he just got one of those funny sensations. The rider was kind of whispering under his voice, on the phone and Stan said that he got that prickly feeling in the back of his neck and uh, the driver then wanted to make an unscheduled stop well trusting his instinct Stan said no I'm sorry for your safety and my safety I'm going to stick with the uh, destination that you originally indicated when I picked you up and then when they got to that destination the rider refused to get out of the car. And now Stan is feeling really uncomfortable. At that point, the passenger said on the phone, okay, I'm here. Come on out, let's do this. How would you feel if you heard those words based on the information you already know? Stan reached into his glove box, took out his concealed carry firearm, which he is legally licensed to carry in his own private vehicle. He exited the vehicle. He moved around to the passenger side. At this point, or while this was happening, he noticed another individual coming up on the car from between the houses. Well, he didn't know if it was between the houses or from the house. He held up his firearm and he told them, please don't come closer. Didn't aim the gun at them. They exited and left. Stan figured, I better report this to the police. He got to the police department. He was giving a statement. And the police officer asked him, were they talking on the phone? Did they ask someone else to meet them? And he said, yeah, why? How do you know? And she said, you probably saved your life. She said, you did exactly the right thing. They were either going to rob you or carjack you or worse. Now, this is a police officer telling him he did exactly the right thing. He handled himself properly. He didn't shoot anybody, didn't threaten anybody. He displayed his weapon that he was legally licensed to carry. Then he contacted Uber. Uber kicked him off the platform. Now, like a lot of states, Wisconsin is a licensed conceal carry state. Now, this is troubling for a lot of reasons. Not that we're licensed conceal here, but that Uber does not allow drivers to protect themselves in otherwise legal ways. When you have that Uber badge on your vehicle, what it is now saying throughout the country is the person in this car is unarmed. The person in this car is a soft target. You can take the person in this car. Now Uber has a right against carrying a weapon in the vehicle. So I suppose they can justify removing Stan from the platform. But here's the question. And I think this is a really important question. What happened if Stan would have gotten injured or worse? And the reason he wasn't legally able to protect himself was Uber said he couldn't. Uber said that he could not use his legal right of protection when he's on the job in his own vehicle. Wisconsin also has Castle Doctrine. Now, Castle Doctrine says if someone enters my premises, my vehicle is my premises, I have the legal right to defend myself. Uber was taking away that legal right for him 
to enforce and apply castle doctrine. What about passengers? What happens if a passenger who is able to legally carry decides to leave their firearm behind because they're taking Uber and Uber says, no, our rules say you cannot bring a firearm to the vehicle. And that passenger is assaulted, injured, or even killed. Uber takes away the rights of drivers. Uber takes away the rights of passengers. Stan was very lucky. Stan was so lucky that he was paying attention. He trusted his instinct. The weird things that were going on, someone whispering into their phone, someone wanting to make an unscheduled stop in, in kind of a sketchy neighborhood, someone saying, let's do this, come and meet me, and now their accomplice comes out from between some houses. They noticed they didn't ask questions. They didn't um, say, why, why are you doing this? Why do you have a firearm? Because they knew darn well, didn't they? They were ready to jack this guy. And I am really hoping that I'm able to get in contact with Stan because I'm sure that there's more to the story than we're not hearing. But what happens when that day comes and someone is not able to protect themselves because Uber says no? I'd love to hear your thoughts. Please leave your comments down below. As always, I love it when you comment, when you give me the thumbs up and like the videos, when you share the videos, and especially when you subscribe. I'm Mark with UberHints.com.